Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting errors says the RPC server is unavailable. Basically, utilizes inner processes communication technique and it would allow a client and a server to basically communicate to each other. So that's pretty basic definition of it, but I feel like just give you guys an idea of what it does. So we're going to go about hopefully solving it for you guys without too much of a hassle. And we're going to start that by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match should come back with view local services as well as services. I would suggest just left clicking on the one that only says services. So select that. Might say desktop app underneath again if you're on Windows 10. I do get a lot of people that are on Windows 7 and Windows 8 to come over to these videos as well, but it should be pretty similar process to resolve this issue. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and scroll down to get to the DCOM server process launcher right here. So you want to go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure server status is running as well as startup type is automatic. If it was not running in automatic, you would have the ability to go ahead and adjust this to automatic, set the server status to start, and then left click on apply and OK. You want to do the same thing for two more services as well. So you go down to remote procedure call. So there will be two here. You want to do it for both. Exact same thing we were showing before. So again, automatic, you want to make sure it's running and you want to do the same thing for the one underneath so startup type set that to automatic server status is stopped left click on start this is the remote procedure call and then an rpc locator left click on apply and okay and that should hopefully be about it so if we close out of here one further thing we can try and that would be to go ahead and open up the start menu again type in control panel Best match should come back with control panel. Just left click on that one time. So you want to see your view by to category view up here. And then you want to go ahead and left click on system and security on the left side. Underneath Windows Defender Firewall, you want to left click on allow an app through Windows Firewall. So left click on that one time. You want to left click on change settings. So now that you have the ability to edit the settings, you want to scroll down to get to remote assistance right here. You want to make sure both of these are checked, so private and public. Public, I would probably recommend you guys don't check it. I mean, if you're still having an issue, you can try checking and then just doing OK. You just maybe might be opening yourself up a little bit more to other networks, so just keep that in mind. You can do some independent research and decisions on your own. I'm not really here to tell you one way is better than the other. Personally, private should be probably good enough for most people, but if you really want to make sure it works, you can check mark inside both of them, play around with it, and then it's left going OK. That's going to really be at your discretion. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Another thing you can go ahead and try if you're having an Further issues after restarting your computer would be to open the start menu, type in msconfig. Best match should come back with msconfig. You want to left click on that one time. And then in the general tab, you want to make sure normal startup load all device drivers and services is selected and then left click on OK. Again, that was just more of a double check there, but you know what, that could also be a cause for some of the issue. And that should hopefully be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.